my word, a uh, legend. This is a true legend is in the chat here. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Malenfant, the original OG of USA Darts, is uh, in the chat. Saying, uh, glad you guys are back at Cherry Bomb. Good people down there. You are certainly right, sir. Uh, great, great people down there. And I'm, we're thrilled we got to make the uh, make the event because it was looking <laughs> a little, little sketchy, a little sketchy little there for a little bit. We had to uh, we had to drive uh, or fly to was flying into Fort Lauderdale, ended up in Orlando, and then we made a three-hour trek in the, early in the morning. And I just found him at the airport. I was actually going there for something completely different. I, I thought this was a bowling tournament. <laughs> so we ended up uh, getting in about 5 a.m., crashing for a little bit, and getting set up this morning. So good stuff indeed. So good here we go. Good stuff. We're in the finals. This is some good stuff. Jason Brandon against Dustin Holt. And a race to six format here. I mean, both these players we have watched average in the high 80s into the 90s almost at times. Um, and I expect to see some fireworks between these two, between Dustin's back-to-back -back 180s earlier and uh, Jason Brandon's solid performance on his doubles. We're excited to see what they bring to the table. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh man! Give you the setup there. You he, were supposed to help me out. You were supposed to help me out, <laughs> bud, and you didn't. Oh my goodness! We've already seen some uh, massive amount of one eighties from this yeah. gentleman here. Let's see if we can get some more. As it goes nineteens this time up top. I I did oh. go out there and I chatted with him. I was like, Dustin, what are you doing on that ninety? He said, I know. I just don't like double fifteen. <laughs> and I said, hey, I'm gonna nail this trip eighteen and nail the double and i said well you nailed the single one and he goes it's exactly what i did <laughs> that's what doug Bain said in the chat earlier it said between the 20 and the 18 might as well just choose the one. <laughs> oh man well, around there from jason brandon Let's see if he can put it in two markers well, does go. great sets up the goal post and kicks it right on through great Leg shot one indeed as you see jason give him a nice nice old uh high five there Come on, why not? Oh. 180. So he's going to start saying brilliant, everyone. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were going to see some fireworks. We're going to get it in this one. How about that? This is a star-studded final between these two guys. And you see they're just whacking away. They're unfazed by what the other's throwing, knowing that they're just going to play their game and they're going to play it hard. Kudos to this young lady. We're gonna give her a little, give her a little loving. This lady has been on the chalking duties, mm -hmm. I think, three or four matches in a row now, and she's just hanging in there like a champ. At least, well, shout out to her. Oh. Nice ton there for Jason. Good setup. Does get the first swing on the next go around here, and we'll have six darts at an ounce. Especially with the opponent on out here, he's looking to more so set up unless he uh, gets something crazy going on. Hits 80 there. 81 left. Just got to set it up. That's a beautiful <laughs> last start there. Oh, my word. Dustin oh, some pressure. Thought, thought he was going to give us another goal in here. He goes over the 18 with that last dart. Here's Jason sitting on double 12. To put this one away. A little high on it. Got to ease it in. Uh-oh. That's a difficult dart. Now he's going to take a step over. Oof. <laughs> Ricky Jackson in the uh, chat saying, I am so torn in this match. Dustin is a close friend and Jason is a cousin. <laughs> so. Well, I'm digging that one above there from Mr. Kevin Will. You are kicking it. Love you are switching. Well, mm. definitely learned from one of the best. So appreciate you saying that, sir. It's uh. Been a lot of a lot of learning. You Absolutely. know how that one is, sir. You know how that one is. So I uh, appreciate you starting me off on the right track. As we see a double twelve there from Jason, takes it and makes it a one-one match. One all and roaring to go. Groupings from these gentlemen have been excellent. I mean, the starts are staying close together for the most part and really setting up for some really 
tight shots from these guys. Yeah, that's certainly the case. I mean, wouldn't expect anything else from two gentlemen that made the finals between a packed mm -hmm. field of mm -hmm. Leonard Gates, uh, Kevin Luke, Joe Hedrick, uh, just to name a few. Yeah. A few, because Danny Lobby we left out and a couple others. 100 there from Holt. Keeping it nice and consistent here. Of course, uh, Brandon with the uh, going against the throw here, so we'll see what he's able to do. Does get it in there with that uh, second dart. Nice ton. Imagine playing in the finals of the event and your own daughter is the chalker, by the way. Is that it? Is that who it is? Yep, that's going to be Joyce Kleana Brandon Chalky, Jason's daughter. And a phenomenal I didn't as even well. know Jason had a daughter. Oh my goodness. I'm trusting Heather on this one here. <laughs> but thank you, Heather Howard, for the inside information. I didn't even know Jason was that old to have a, a, a young lady <laughs> who's... I don't know how old she is. I don't know how old Jason is now. I'm questioning my my whole dart career <laughs> that, that right just now. just unraveled everything for you right there. That <laughs> one revelation just threw you for a loop. Oh, Great man. Last dart there. Go uh, bull. Very smart dart. Gives himself that big fish chance. 182 for Dustin. So he's just got to plow it down. Excellent last dart there. Leave himself 82. Forcing Jason to take a real swing at this big fish. Got to. Ashton Watt, hello, how you doing, buddy? Good to meet you last weekend up in New York. You looked like you had a fantastic time, but I think all of us did who were in attendance. <laughs> Especially on the floor, there was getting a little rowdy in uh, NYC. Yeah, so 18, he's got to go 14 for bull here. Oh. A little bit outside there, and Jason Britton did exactly what he needed to do. Set himself up with a chance to steal it away. It's a great marker. Yeah, he can use that one. Mm, now a little bit more difficult. There. Yeah, a little bit more difficult. Until he's a little frustrated at that one. 15 for double eight. Double four. There it is. Dustin Holt manages to cling on and grab it. There we Good go. shot indeed. Well, from clinging on to living long and prospering, <laughs> we got Jason Brandon here to kick off leg number four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a zoom in for the 180. That's a way to stay focused and keep going. Loving it. Good cover shot there on that 19. Beautiful shot there for 134. These guys are really kicking it right now. See Brandon here trying to do some damage. <laughs> Jeremy Burns says, it was all right last weekend. <laughs> says the guy who's now going to be going to, uh, the, world to the world championships. Yeah, My tell us if it's all right goodness. when you're at Alley Pally there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it then. That's funny. Four score 186. Doesn't set himself up here. Giving Holt a chance to kind of sneak back in this leg. I say sneak back in. These guys are just throwing great. The leg's only lasting 12 darts most of these times. Anyways. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> he looked up. right at the camera and goes, eh, <laughs> I guess we got it. What a showman. What a showman. That's one thing Dustin's always has been. He's not sh shy from stepping in front of the camera, making a funny face, having a good laugh or two. That's a fun way to approach it. You, you can tell that they're having fun with it, you know? You got to. Ha absolutely. I mean, we even see, like, uh, <laughs> so, we see a lot of characters on stage having some fun with it. Heather Howard says, in reference to her age, she is uh, a college graduate. So that just shows you, like, yeah. Maybe Jason's deceivingly a little bit older than we thought. Got to figure out what moisturizer he uses. <laughs> Give us some. All right, 100 left, two darts. I'm only able to set it up here. It's so, 60. wonder what way Dustin goes about this. Does he go trip 20? Or does he go bull? 
That's the question. He's kind of taking a chuck. Look at him. He's thinking about it. He's like, Dude, what if I go bull? What if I go bull bull here? Oh. All right. Now that's smart. So he's got trip 19. Still have to hit it, but he could. For bull. Oh, my goodness. What a Oh. 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 What are you doing, bud? Oh, okay. What are you doing, bud? I don't think he realized what he had. I don't think so either. Well, moving on. Let's see. If oh, he my goodness. Uh, and he does. That's what happens. Yeah. You have to know your math. You got it. He's got to be kicking himself on that one. I just, you got to take your opportunities and. That's when the coach in the corner gives you a kick and says, Yeah, oh. it's going to be hard for him to say that he uh, that he took the opportunity there and missed that, that far out. So and it's all right. I mean, yeah. He's just going to walk went, it off. You win, yeah, you win some, you lose some. You can't think about it too much now. And I don't think he is. I mean, you can see in his face. There's not really a frustration showing on his side at all. He's still comfortably still cruising and smooth stroking his way into that trouble consistently. Smooth stroke, and I like the way you said that. Well, it sounds flirtatious when you repeat it back. <laughs> <laughs> As you see Jason Brandon here trying to get 18. He hit it the last time, but not on this go around. <laughs> Jeremy says, must have been uh, studying under his teammate Gates. Oh, <laughs> and that's coming from the, the sponsor. sponsor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny. Good first two. Sit it in. Oh, is even Holt put his hands yeah. up saying, you got it. He's been doing that every single time someone hits two in that bed. I love it. I absolutely love stuff like that. 57 scored there. Decent, but not exactly what he had in mind as uh, Jason Brandon can really do some damage. This is a turn that matters most for him, I think, for uh, what we've seen so far. All right, you have 129 left. Decides to go for the bull. Beautiful to leave himself 104. So here we go. Holt. Not going to do it now. As takes a step up there to look. And that's why that last round from Jason Prano was huge. Setting yourself up with a potential two-darter. And you can even break it up into three if you really want to. So here we go. Pressure's on him. So that's 72 there for 32. Oh, oh, great attempt at it, though. That's a swing you have to be okay with and just know, all right, caught the wrong side of the wire. Move on. Keep going. Beautiful darts from Holt. Nice, consistent, able to get it in. And that's a nice little 17 darter there. These guys are staying in those mid-80 averages. Behind one leg, Jason Brandon still averaging higher than 84.07 going into leg number six here. All right. Well, surrounding that bed. Usually he gets it in on that third one, but uh, a little frustration there. A little slip dart. Not happy that we threw it. You can tell before it left his hand that was not what he had in mind. Jason Brandon, just Oop. pure grit and focus. Yeah, almost focusing to the point where he's just like literally staring through the board. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're gonna see that from people in these finals. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You don't get there for no reason at all. No. You you got to go through a track or a trek to get there. Um, and each one of these guys have played some substantial uh, opponents. Well, and they are substantial opponents to each other, too. I mean, your averages are neck and neck. You're in the finals. You're leg after leg just trying to hold each other's throw. It, it, it's incredible stuff that we're seeing from these gentlemen and really some professionalism as a huge 128 there uh, from Jason Brandon. Yeah, great shot indeed. So that's 100 there for Dustin. This looks to be uh, Jason's leg here, though, as he's just plowing him in, taking the full advantage of the of the throw that he's uh, got here. And his average is going to be hitting close up to that 90 range at the way he's throwing right now. He's on pace for a potential 14 dart leg. We would love to see it here. See how he shoots it. 
double ten. ten. Fourteen, hey, it is. Jason, wow. From Jason Brandon. Quality stuff, and even Dustin <laughs> giving him a quick little uh, hey, good shots, man. You can see the level of respect between these two, and I mean Dustin. Always plays to that level. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Every final I see him, man, he's, he, he'll give the guy a big hug at the very beginning, get underway, and a big hug at the end, no matter what yep. it is that they finish. And that's what the game's about. It's not only about playing great, doing great things, and uh, having some fun playing darts, but it's also about the sportsmanship between two different competitors and showing respect for the other guy that you're playing against. 100%. 100%. 110% <laughs> There we go, Nick. There we I go. I catch on every now and again. <laughs> As we see, Jason Brand trying to catch right on into the trouble. That 18 coverage, he has hit that third down at 18, I would say more often than not, very consistently. And it's really helping keep his scoring power nice and high and keeping him throwing 90 pluses every single time he's up at the hockey. In a position to potentially break Holt's throw. He just needs to uh, hit another solid turn here, which he's in line to do. Beautiful last start there. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Nice 131 there. He is feeling good, isn't he? He is really feeling. He's coming coming in clutch when he needs to. 87.47 right now compared to Dustin's 78.98. And he plows in a 140 to improve that 78 average. Absolutely. There is no counting Dustin Holt out of any leg. Don't Until it says game over, next leg. Uh, there's no counting him out. It's, he has an outside <laughs> chance here. Ricky Jackson said they're going to have to rotate the board after this match with all the trip 20s they're hitting. It you are looking, correct, sir. That board is looking crispy. Now it's looking uh, deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy and then deep fried. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Thanks. I went to college <laughs> twice. Didn't finish it either time, but uh, my language arts degree is almost there. We got close. We got close. As you see Jason go after it here, he's going to show him the route Andrew to go. Oh. <laughs> and that's what why you go at it like that, Dustin. <laughs> he showed you the way to go it. We were literally just discussing yes. it before. As Jason was there, he's like, I always go 20 and then bull. And then sure enough. He uh, hits it. If you guys didn't see me, Will literally went out there to tell Dustin all this, which shows uh, he's cheering on his buddy a little bit and saying, hey, you got to figure it out. But Jason Brandon averaging 89.19 right now on the cusp of some greatness. Holt's definitely getting a little bit more serious here. Still, still focused, doesn't look frustrated, but he looks a little bit more serious than he was before. Oh, certainly. I think he knows this is a new match here. I mean, these have been neck and neck the whole way, but for Jason to kind of break throw there, big dart, big dart indeed. Let's see what Hulk can do. I mean, he is literally, if he's not on the wire, he's in the bet. 140 points scored there, gave him down to 261, and he, his darts are looking great. It's just Jason Brand is looking great too. Yep. Beautiful stuff here is Dustin Holt going up, hits 100 there. Let's say, yeah, just barely on the outside of that wire. Again, leaving himself 161, another opportunity has arisen for him. And right now, Jason Brandon's in a little bit of trouble here. I'm going to see break after break potentially. Let's see what it is. This is, this is a close leg. It's too early to call anything right now. Last start, he calmed down, focused up, but uh, only able to get 40 points there. Dustin with the first swing here, lining right up at that 20. Doesn't get it, but he has the time. He has time. His opponent's on and out. You're just going to focus on setting up and settling down. Yeah, we got 121. A lot of different things you can hit here. Trouble 17 is definitely the best call, in my opinion, there. Leaving himself 70 left Jason Brandon here needs to put some pressure on it that's a great way to start this turn ain't trouble 18 for his coverage no I think he should have gone there just because of how consistent he's been hitting it 
Although a solid 100 gives him a good chance in case something crazy happens. And that's exactly what he did. He left himself a chance at a possible two if he really wanted to, um, or a good good setup shot. Yes, absolutely. Trouble six is not what he had in mind here, is it? For double 16. Oh, oh the turnaround there. Can the event host please make this a race to 25? Very much enjoy the darts. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that, bro. Oh, oh. Double 20. Come on. Oh Did you see Jason oh. give him a go there? Oh. It's 5-3 now. Save that leg. and He's on match point now. He is. He's, he's held throw there. Now rocking an 88.39 average. Mm-hmm. Jason Brayden just playing with some momentum right now. He's really come out swinging these last few legs and is looking good, feeling good, throwing good. Let me tell you, I may run out there real quick and tell these guys, hey, um, you need a, it's a best of 31, guys. Yeah, we need some more. Yeah, we need some more action here. <laughs> well, action there is. It is plentiful and fruitful right now between these two. Although I wonder right now, when you're on that match point on final, I, never mind point to sprue, I was going to say, you're going to feel that pressure of the match point, but never mind. He shut me up real quick with a beautiful shot there. Solid 100 there from Holt. Doing what he needs to do, just trying to hold his throw. <laughs> Jason Brandon trying to break down that barrier. Can he do it? <laughs> 180 or one left. Yeah, that's just, he's coming. You can just tell he wants it. He wants this title. Yes. It shows. Let's see what he can do here. And he has a good opportunity. Really set himself up pretty here. Take your time. You're at 161. Shoot at it again. Finds it. One on one left. A lot of different ways he can set this up here. But you're looking good, feeling good. If you're Dustin Hole right now, your job is to build some pressure against it when you go up to the hockey again. So he has to hit big here. He has to really make Jason feel that match point pressure. Only 60 points scored. So 81 needed here. Can he take it right now? I believe 62. 62. 12 for Bull. If he chooses to go that route, yeah, oh. no real need to go that route. Is oh. <laughs> what? what a shot! Nice and easy, no hesitation. Able to sit at home. Jason Brandon averaging an 89. Wow! Three, winning against Dustin Holt. My Thanks for viewing the video. Just wanted to send you a reminder. If you liked this content, make sure to give us a like and a follow on our Facebook page or head on over to YouTube. Give us a subscribe. We certainly appreciate it. If you like some of the merchandise I'm wearing, maybe the hat, maybe the jersey, head on over to usadarts.live where you can get some of that merchandise for yourself to rep at your next tournament. 
Thanks for watching.